You got a death wish walking through a war zone? Listen, local. If you want to be of use, help us clear the mutants between here and our base camp. If not, stay the hell out of our way. Light him up! This is a high priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Any personnel listening on this street, please report at once. Listening on this frequency, report to Sector 7B, Bailey's Crossroads. A high priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Any personnel listening on this frequency, please report to This is Defender Morrill. Any outcast listening on this frequency, report to Sector 7B, Bailey's Crossroads. This is a high priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Any personnel listening on this frequency, please report at once. Outcast listening on this frequency, report to Sector 7B, Bailey's Crossroads. This is a high priority message. Back up and see it at our location. Please report at once. Listening on this frequency, report to Sector 7B, Bailey's Crossroads. This is a high priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Any personnel listening on this frequency, please report at once. This is Defender Morrill. Any outcasts listening on this frequency, report to Sector 7B, Bailey's Crossroads. This is a high priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Any personnel listening on this frequency, please report at once. If you're here to help, fine. Otherwise, out of my way. All right, local. Mind explaining what you're doing here? How the hell did you hear my signal? It's not broadcast on a standard frequency. Oh, I see. You've got one of those wrist-mounted computers. Well, well. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that fancy? Listen, kid. Maybe you could help us out. We've been looking for someone like you. Why don't you head inside and talk to Protector McGraw? I'll radio ahead and let him know you're coming. Marill calling in. Yeah, we took care of him. Listen, I'm sending down a local. This you is Defender Marill. Any outcasts listening on this yeah, frequency, exactly. report to Marill Sector out. 7B, Bailey's Crossroads. This is a high priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Any personnel listening on the street, please report at once.
right, you. Keep your weapons holstered, your hands to yourself, and your mouth shut. Follow me. to keep an eye on our guest, Defender. Yeah, like I said, sorry, sir. Not my fault you ran in here. Listen, I still don't think this is a good idea. That'll be all, Defender. Thank you. So you're the one Morel sent down. I'll be perfectly honest. I'd trust a Wastelander to shine my power armor, and even that's pushing it. But you do have that computer there on your wrist. Hmm. I can see now that Morel made the right call. Maybe you can be useful after all. So you do have half a brain. That's good. I'll keep it simple. I need you and I need that computer of yours. You help me out, and I'll do what I can to help you. This isn't an offer the outcasts extend to anyone, so you really should think carefully about it. Records indicate there's some high-value tech in this base, but we can't get to it. The armory is sealed by a blast door, and we can't get it open. We're pretty sure anyone who completes the facility's VR simulation program will gain access, but it requires a certain interface. Unfortunately, we don't have one. You do, right there on your wrist. I need you to go into the simulator and complete that program, which will unlock the armory. You'll get a share of the gear, of course. It's the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska from Chinese communists. It was a pretty significant event in American history, according to our scribe. I won't lie to you. It's heavy combat. Safety protocols disengaged. That means you die in the sim, your body goes into massive cardiac arrest. You're still listening, so I'm going to assume you're interested. But time's wasting. Sibley can take you to the pod. Olin will get you brief. If you want to walk away, you're free to leave. My men won't stop you. Shouldn't you be huddling in a cave somewhere? for you. What? Yep. Let's hope you treat this one better than the last guy, huh? <laughs> Go to hell, Sibley. You know that wasn't my fault. Sure, whatever. Just make some progress, okay? We're all looking to get out of here. Fine. Then get out and let me do my job. What are you doing here? You're here to help? Fine. Then put this on. Get in the chair, and we'll run the simulation. Look, if you're going to help out, then that's great. Just don't get in my way. The same thing we always do. Recover technology and preserve it, making sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. McGraw's hope is that whatever's in here will give us a big advantage. I'm not convinced, but I'm on his side.
snapper. That was a hell of a nasty fall. You know. When your shoot bunched up like that, I thought you were a goner. I hope the other guys made it. I don't think their patrol spotted us coming in. So at least we still have the jump on them. You still have your gear. So I'm gonna let you make the call. You can go in quiet, or guns blazing. We'll still meet at the rendezvous point inside this plane. Then we'll blow those artillery guns to hell. Just watch us. Red's up here and we'll take prisoners. Good luck.
Damn, this place is swarming with reds. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I almost bought it out on the cliffs. Didn't know the reds were so handy with a sniper rifle. So, what's the situation? We clear to blow the hell out of this place? I got your six. Step near those ledges. That is a hell of a wall. Eyes on. We got company up ahead. Don't let one of them come up ahead.
Audio log begin. This is Captain Zachary Lloyd, United States Army Anchorage, Alaska Security Detachment. We are approximately two hours into the Chinese assault on this outpost. We are being shelled non-stop, indiscriminately. The entire base is under bombardment from the Chinese ships, and they don't care who they hit. All accounts indicate they've actually killed more of their own men than ours. They just do not seem to care about their own troops at all. At this rate, the entire mountain will be a graveyard in less than an hour, and then the Chinese will just move in and set up shop. God help us. God help America. Molly, I hope this tape gets to you, some way, somehow. I don't have a lot of time, but you need to know what happened to me. The early reports weren't bullshit. The Chinese are here. As in, they're invading Anchorage in force, right now. This is the real deal. It makes Pearl Harbor look like an academy exercise. I've never seen so many goddamn warships. Sergeant Lowry has ordered the platoon to assemble in the mess in 15 minutes. The plan is to dig in on the cliffs and slow the Chinese advance until the civilian contractors can evacuate. And then... Then we hold the line, for as long as we can. I talked to Derny, Cielo, and Dallas, and we all agreed. Surrender is not an option. I never told you, but... That night in Cleveland, on the Ferris wheel, that was when I fell in love with you. Goodbye, Molly. I... I'm sorry. This is Private First Class Henry Hodges, signing out. Through this next structure is the entrance to the artillery. I don't know what they got waiting for us, so keep a sharp watch. Over there! Over there! 
Get him! Got him, friend! Copy! Oh! 